When I begin to reveal the secret behind the three indicator colors, I always realize that most people simply don't imagine that geology is so visual, so expressive, almost an art hidden in the ground. While many people are mesmerized by the shine, that shimmer that seems to shout, look at me, I explain that true treasure hunters do just the opposite. They look for color. In geology, certain minerals tint rocks in very specific ways, as if they were discreetly signing their own presence. Yellowish soils from iron oxide, greenish tones from copper minerals, dense dark spots from magnetite. All of this is usually a sign of gold-bearing areas. And when I find bluish or grayish hues, I immediately think of kimberlites, those deep rocks that can carry diamonds. It's as if the earth leaves small colored clues before showing the final prize, and I've learned to respect these signs. The most fascinating part is when I explain that, contrary to popular belief, gold and diamonds are almost never found because of their shine. This always causes surprise, almost a shock, because we've been conditioned to believe that what's valuable shines. But the truth? Shine deceives. Shine distracts. Shine confuses. Color, on the other hand, reveals profound processes, colossal pressures, chemical transformations, minerals that have slowly combined over millions of years.